Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Gemma. So lovely to have you tuning in to today's video, which is a what's new in my wardrobe. I tend to do these um, from time to time. I just wanted to share what new in pieces I have in my wardrobe. I've got some things for spring. Um, and also these Nadine Morabi pyjamas. I mean, guys, look at the feathers and also the little diamantes. I'm actually obsessed. So yes, I am wearing pajamas whilst filming this video, but let's normalize wearing pajamas that are as cute as these. I would definitely wear these on a night out. I've got them in the black satin and I wore them so much over Christmas. They are so good. But for today's video, I'm just wearing it with my Ugg Tasman slippers. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are new around here, we are on the road to 10K subscribers. Let's make it happen and check me out on Instagram as well. My handle is at Gemma Talbot because everything that I feature in today's video, I will style in some way over there. So starting off with this gorgeous top that I picked up from And Other Stories. It's long sleeve. I love this black like piping detail around the collar and the buttons as well. This is a really nice thick material. I love it tucked into blue jeans, worn with black trousers. I feel like this one would be a really good option for work as well. But obviously I don't go into an office so I would definitely wear this with blue jeans. I tried it on in store with blue jeans. It looks so nice and black boots. But I could do loafers. I could tuck it into a black skirt. I just think it's so cute. So I got this one in a size small. I would say it's quite fitted actually but in a good way. I like that it is quite fitted on my arms and also on my boobs as well. I just think it's a really good all-rounder and also very suitable for all age groups as well. Um, and this one was, it was quite steep, it was £85, um, but the quality is amazing. I'll actually tell you the composition. So it's acetate, nylon, polyester and spandex, so really nice uh, material composition there but yeah let me know what you think I just love camel and black together I think it's so timeless so chic so classy Mwah. I feel like I am trying to do a roundup of the best cargoes on the high street and these ones definitely do not disappoint from warehouse guys if you haven't checked out warehouse recently you must their stuff is amazing and the pieces that i picked up from warehouse here are so good so i got these cargoes these ones differ slightly from the ones that i featured in my previous videos because they're more of a straight slim leg so if you don't like anything too wide you're gonna love these the quality of these is really lovely it's just like that standard Tw is it twill cargo material and it's got pockets on the side here as you can see it's definitely more of a straight leg uh they've got fake pockets no real pockets oh my god real pockets on the back and then belt loop poles there's actually a belt loop pole and like a cross detail there and then on the front here we've got i mean if you want to attach your keys <laughs> You definitely can but as we'll see from the cutaway these are definitely more of a straight leg I actually really like them I think that you could wear them with boots you could wear them with trainers you can even dress these up as well I actually think cargoes for a night out with like a corsety top or a dressier top look really really good so I actually ordered these originally in an eight and I would say definitely size up I found the eight really, really snug on me. So I returned them and got the size 10. It does say that the model was wearing a 10, but sometimes I never believe when they say that the model is wearing the size that they are. Um, so yeah, I would actually say from trying these on and as you'll see from the cutaway, the 10 fits me perfectly. I love them and I am generally a size eight across most brands and I am five foot seven and a half for reference. These are the perfect length on me. They could even be a fraction longer. Um, so yeah, just as a rough idea, if you're like a similar height to me or shorter, uh, you can get a little bit of an indication of how they will sit on you. I am obsessed with this jumper. You may have already seen me wear this on my stories. The quality of this, guys, is 
10 10 it's a really thick material because although we are eventually going into spring we still do have those like chilly days and jumpers like this are perfect so this does come in baby blue and i think i may have to get the baby blue because i love this so much but i thought i would stick to a neutral one because i'll probably get more wear out of it but i love this slit detail here so it sits really nicely if you want to wear like a high-waisted skirt high-waisted jeans i just love that little touch and i don't have anything like that on any jumpers that i own it's got this ribbed detailing here um and then also on the cuffs but yeah it's such a lovely soft but also thick material i'm so blown away by the quality of this i got this one in a small i would say stick to your usual size in this but this looks amazing paired with this satin skirt which has a gorgeous slit here this is such a good find guys i cannot tell you how much i love this skirt look at this color it's a beautiful it's in between an olive and a pistachio i have this in black and i also have it in a champagne color i have actually posted a I think it's a five or six ways to wear the black satin version which is also from warehouse as a youtube short so you can go and have a watch of this after uh, if you are stuck for ideas but just get me to italy with an ice cream in my hand wearing this skirt it is gorgeous honestly guys these warehouse satin skirts are 10 10 i mean i can't gatekeep these they are amazing and they come in so many colors so i think if you're looking to buy a satin skirt definitely head to warehouse the link will be down below and i love that this one has a slit but as you'll see from the cutaway this jumper over this skirt with cream accessories i cannot wait to wear this outfit for spring honestly i'm saving it and it's coming out as soon as we have well we're actually in double digits now but it just needs to be a tiny little bit warmer i'm obsessed okay the next thing from warehouse is this really cute cardi it's this like fluffy material look at these buttons how cute are they so i think again this would be a really good work option you could wear this with black trousers you could wear it with jeans you could wear it with a black skirt and tights i think there's a lot of ways that you can wear this and it's so soft it's so cozy like i said a really good one i think for work i just think it's so chic it's giving me chanel vibes i love it uh, i have featured it in a outfit so i'm wearing this week reel um as like a meeting option so more like work vibes and um, i would definitely oh i didn't say as well about that skirt it's true to size that one is an eight just stick true in the skirt this one i got in a medium i did originally get the small i would say if you have big boobs i would size up in this because i found that the small was like pulling slightly and it was stretching the fabric whereas this one i feel fits me better and just makes it a little bit more cozy i really like the way that it looks with black trousers as you'll see from the cutaway but again such a good find guys let me know what you think of this down below but i just love the chanel vibes i think it looks really expensive it's such an easy thing to throw on that instantly makes you look really put together and very chic i've got some spring outerwear guys and i am so excited to be able to wear this faux leather utility jacket honestly guys the quality of this is amazing like i'm actually shocked that it's faux leather it feels like real leather so i think this is going to look amazing layered over over this satin midi skirt maybe paired with a tank and some trainers or boots and loafers i think i'm going to get so much wear out of this for spring so it is fully lined i really like the way this looks it's just so cool these utility jackets are just such a good one to throw over when we go into like the warmer months it's like a leather jacket but it's not a biker which i really really like and i don't actually have anything like this in my wardrobe um so it does have pockets here which have like a popper detail and they are really quite deep as you can see um and i really like the silver zip and the collar all round i think this is a really really good jacket and guys i'm blown away by the quality honestly it feels like real leather that's what it looks like from the back i just think it looks so chic you could wear this with anything just wear it as you would like a normal faux leather biker style jacket um i just think it really upgrades your outfit 
and this one I got in a size at 10 I would say if you wanted it more oversized maybe size up but I actually didn't want this to sit oversized and I think as you'll see from the cutaway I really really like how this fits on me um, so I would say if you are usually a size 8 maybe size up to a 10 but if you don't want it oversized I wouldn't really size up any more than that this next set guys I cannot it has me in a chokehold and I just want to fast forward to spring so I can wear it so it's this little waistcoat love the color of this and the quality of this I am blown away actually I'm blown away by all of the pieces from warehouse and the quality like they're amazing so that is the little waistcoat the one thing I'll say about this is I would if you have boobs size up in this I got this one in a 10 um, and I'm really really glad that I did and it also has that adjustable bit on the back I do actually prefer this one to the Zara one that I featured in my last Zara haul I think it's longer it's more of a traditional waistcoat you could lay shirts underneath this but as we go into spring waistcoats look amazing just with jeans uh, with a pair of black trousers a really light neutral pair of trousers really good work option as well uh, but I actually just think they look so chic worn on their own uh, maybe buttoned and then with a few buttons open down here so that is the waistcoat like I said I've got this one in a 10 to match are these trousers you'll see better from the cutaway together these oh, Honestly, these trousers are such good quality. Again, a really good workwear option. Like I said, I don't work in the office and I'm definitely going to be wearing these in spring, layered with a trench coat over the top. And then when it's warm enough to wear my Chanel Dad sandals, oh my God, so cute. So again, these ones, I would suggest sizing up. I ordered the eight and they i did actually quite like the way they fitted on my leg they were just quite slim but they were too tight on my waist so i got the 10 and i actually feel like the 10 are perfect and i would say these are a tailored tapered trouser wow that's a <laughs> that's a tongue twister uh this set also comes i think in two other colors there's a gorgeous like greeny khaki which i think i may have to get i just want to see how much wear i get out of this one as we go into spring but i'm really really keen to add more waistcoats to my collection because like i said i love how they look with denim skirts denim shorts different color trousers jeans i definitely think that waistcoats are going to be huge for the season but also i'm going to be wearing them lots and lots in the next coming months okay and the last thing i picked up from and other stories that i cannot wait to share with you is this gorgeous trench coat the quality of this is so good so it's lined it's just in your traditional trench coat color that like beigey camel but more bordering on like the camel side um this one again is quite pricey it was 165 pounds but my previous and other stories trench coat which i have actually now listed on vintage i because i'm you know one in one out now um such good quality and still looks as good as new so i would really suggest paying a little bit extra and investing in your trench coats because they are going to have that longevity and from personal experience the cheaper ones just feel a little bit thin and these ones look great layered you know with jumpers underneath and you can wear them when we go through that transitional period where it's still quite chilly um so yeah this is what it looks like it's got buckle details here and then this is a closer look at the buttons i actually really like that they're in the same color as the jacket and then it is fully lined you've got a breast pocket and the and other stories logo there that's what it looks like from the back you've got your classic belt in the same fabric it just feels like a really nice trench material um, and yeah really good quality really nice length as you'll see from the cutaway I just think it's such a staple and I actually don't feel like Inspector Gadget in this one in some of my trench coats that I've had previously I felt a little bit like Columbo or something like that so yeah I would 100% 
recommend this one and other stories actually have loads of trench coats i saw them in store and they've got various colors they've got your classic trench they've got like a stone color more beigey ones i think they had a khaki one they had a linen one um so yeah i would definitely definitely recommend um and let me know if you'll be wearing trench coats for spring okay guys so you've made it to the end of the video hopefully i would love to know which pieces are your favorite let me know down below in the comments and if you've made it to the end of the video comment with trench coat i see you i do see the ones that make it to the end and if you have you're a trooper i love you guys um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new around here check me out on instagram as well my handle is at Gemma talbot and i will be back very soon with another video guys i'm staying so consistent here on youtube i really hope that you're enjoying the videos from me and appreciating the content um but yeah i'll see you in my next one i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to and thank you so much for watching bye